Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Looney Tunes video games. Oh, goody. I'm on the right team for once. Hold it. Hold it? Hello, and welcome to the Sheep, Dog, and Wolf Show, or as I like to call it, Who Wants to Be a Sheep Stealer? For this list, we're looking at the best video games to have starred Warner Brothers' colorful, wacky cast of characters, the Looney Tunes. Did your favorite Looney Tunes game make it on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Now cue the Looney Tunes music. Okay, crickets. Number 10, Looney Tunes, Cartoon Conductor, AKA Looney Tunes Cartoon Concerto. Kill the web, it kill the web, it kill the web. Of all the genres for this franchise to attempt, a music game feels like a notably odd choice. It makes a lot more sense, however, when you consider Looney Tunes' history of parodying opera and classical music. Cartoon Conductor tasks you with tapping notes on screen in order to help Bugs and company recreate memorable moments from the likes of What Opera Doc and Rabbit of Seville. Even if the game didn't pose much of a challenge, the animation and sound were remarkable for a DS game, and it gave us the itch to go back and rewatch some of these cartoons. Number 9 Looney Tunes Duck Amuck. To base an entire game off a single Looney Tunes short sounds like an absurd decision, but Duck Amuck was a game fit for Daffy Duck fans. Our favorite angry duck stands in an empty room, and you must annoy him through a variety of mini games. Hey, it's sure not bright in here. You can tap on his head, mess with his body, wait for him to suggest something. The mini games are introduced in a number of creative ways, and each one offers a unique concept that takes advantage of the DS's capabilities. It's pretty impressive, and even though a playthrough is short, it serves as a good, bite-sized game to kill time. Forget it, Jack. I'm the real Daffy, and there isn't room on this screen for the two of us. Okay, buddy, you asked for it! Number 8. Looney Tunes Sheep Raider, a.k.a. Looney Tunes Sheepdog and Wolf. You will go through a series of levels. At each of those levels, you will have to steal a sheep from Sam Sheepdog and put it in the goal. We're not sure what's more surprising, the fact that there's a game starring Ralph Wolf and Sam the Sheepdog, or the fact that it's actually good. Sheep Raider or Sheepdog and Wolf in Europe puts players in the role of Ralph, who must steal sheep without attracting Sam's attention. Yes, the game is just as hilarious as the various short films upon which it was based. The only way it could get funnier is if you played the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack over it. With its silly gameplay and exceptional visual fidelity, Sheep Raider was one of those hidden PS1 gems we're always happy to revisit. You'll see the place to which you must bring back the sheep you have stolen. The counter will also indicate the number of sheep you still have to steal. Number 7. Looney Tunes World of Mayhem This turn-based action RPG tasks players with collecting tokens of their favorite Looney Tunes characters and battling evil clones created by Marvin the Martian. Each tune comes with their own special abilities, allowing them to deal damage, inflict buffs and debuffs, or stack effects. You can even steal crates from other players in PvP modes potentially granting items to upgrade abilities, level up your roster, collect materials to build your own world, or earn more character tokens. So if you like Looney Tunes and RPGs, then this is a match made in heaven. Number 6. Looney Tunes Racing It's easy to shrug Looney Tunes racing off as just another kart racer, but there's actually a number of features that help the game distinguish itself beyond the name and genre. I've never been to the 
how humiliated. Every course is based on various Looney Tunes shorts and features Acme gates that allow you to trigger environmental hazards, hindering your opponent's lead, or, if you aren't careful, your own. There's a robust roster of Looney Tunes characters to play as, ranging from familiar faces like Marvin the Martian and Lola Bunny to the lesser-used villains like Gossamer and Rocky. In other words, this wasn't just a quality kart racer, this was a love letter to Looney Tunes history. Number 5. Taz Wanted What's the very first thing you'd do if you were the Taz, the Tasmanian Devil? You'd spin around and wreak havoc upon anything in your path, right? Well, Taz Wanted was a dream come true for many of us. Not only did the game boast astounding cell-shaded visuals, but it also let us live the life of Taz. Roar and yell at foes, spin and trash the place, get captured, repeat. It may not have been the same level of quality as previous Looney Tunes games in terms of camera and platforming, but there was still plenty of reason to pick this one up. Number 4. Bugs Bunny – Lost in Time When he mistakes a time machine for a carrot juice dispenser, Bugs Bunny finds himself on a trip for the ages. And if he wants to get back home to his own time, he has no choice but to collect clocks and carrots. Yeah, it's a ludicrous story, even for a Looney Tunes game, but it's still pretty great. The music is incredibly catchy and it fits each world perfectly, and the boss fights are fun and always good for a laugh. As one would expect from a game starring Bugs Bunny, you'll have some great opportunities to put a smackdown on Elmer Fudd. Hey. Number 3. Duck Dodgers, starring Daffy Duck. <laughs> Devilishly clever. Bugs and Taz weren't the only tunes to get their own 3D adventure platformers. Daffy Duck starred in this Banjo-Kazooie and Super Mario 64s game on the Nintendo 64, and he had to do so while portraying his alter ego, Duck Dodgers. Duck Dodgers. Duck Dodgers was just as exceptional as the 3D platformers that came before it, providing imaginative environments to explore, tough boss fights, and of course, plenty of humor in its gameplay and cutscenes. If the Looney Tunes were to get another video game, we'd love to see a sequel or remake of this, or at the very least, an expanded take on the Duck Dodgers persona, just like the 2003 TV series did. Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century! I bet that's going to hurt. Number 2. Looney Tunes Space Race No, I don't believe it. Whereas Looney Tunes Racing presented its own unique take on the classic kart racing formula, Space Race deviated to a style more reminiscent of F-Zero and Wipeout. It featured a roster that was admittedly smaller than LTR, but Space Race was all about speed and mayhem, providing players plenty of opportunities to drop black holes and bombs wherever they pleased. Oh my! See how you like this! It was absolute chaos and may have been difficult for some casual players, but this was an all-around excellent racing game. It's just a shame that it was forgotten due to initially launching on the Dreamcast only to play catch-up and hit PlayStation 2 two years later. Before we reveal our most loony video game, here are a few loony honorable mentions. Looney Tunes Back in Action For a game based on a movie, it was the right amount of loony. <laughs> looney Tunes, Marvin Strikes Back. Marvin got his own neat adventure game. Daffy Duck, The Marvin Missions. Another awesome Duck Dodgers adventure.
Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage. Dang, SNES made Bugs look good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bugs Bunny and Taz – Time Busters Baba Chop! <laughs> Time Busters came out at a time when it seemed like everyone was getting a 3D platformer, but this one stood out from the crowd. In addition to the same gameplay that made Lost in Time so great, players could now take control of Taz and play through the game as him. It also incorporated a co-op mode where two players could control both characters. Creative in level design and faithful to the brand, it's no wonder why many consider this to be the best Looney Tunes game ever made. It checks all the boxes and it does it with style and laughs to spare. You know, Granny, you may want to get some references before you hire your next exterminator. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.